Hello. 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 These are virtual humans, and it's essentially computer graphics meets artificial intelligence. I think I understand. Most computer games, uh, the way you interact with people in the games is you shoot them. Uh, what we're trying to do here at ICT is make it so you can actually talk to characters. The same way you ask a question or tell a story to your friends is the same way you can speak to us. There are enormous applications to this technology. Uh, there's entertainment, obviously, uh, building more interesting video games. There's, there's training, uh, teaching people to uh, learn better how to interact with different cultures. How may I help you? teaching mm -hmm. doctors to do better clinical interviews. What, what brings you into the office today? A lot of the research is trying to understand uh, what people do when they're having a conversation and then breaking that up into different components and so trying to recognize speech. I am failing some classes in school. How do we get from those words to what they might mean? How do we model the thought processes of a person? Language and gesture generation. Hello, Captain. It is not polite to point. Each of these are sort of subdomains within computer science, and part of what the Virtual Human Project does is try to pull these different research disciplines together into an integrated virtual human. I'm wearing my ACUs with full battle rifle. Part of our research is to build human-like things that can project emotion. Some of the research is just computer animation. How do we make uh, a computer-generated face look angry or sad? But then there's the social science research. We build models that have been used in studies to better understand how people think and act and behave. Is there another virtual human you think we should meet? Oh, I'm Sergeant Starr. Sergeant John Blackwell, Charlie Company, 123rd Infantry. My name is Harmony. My name is Samuel Sarek. One of our first virtual human applications at USC was Steve. He had a head and no body, and then he had a body and no legs. Now we've got characters that can walk and talk, that can show facial expressions. All right, y'all, grab a pen and paper. Now comes the quiz portion of your visit. <laughs> now nah, I'm just playing. The applications are, are limitless, and you know, we, we don't even yet begin to realize the, the potential we can use this technology for. Let's take a look. This problem. No. Thanks for coming by.